Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Cecilia from Scientist Plants and this is my messy desk. So welcome to my messy desk. In this video, I want to share something different. Instead of being talking specifically about a planner or a journal, I'm going to be talking about stationary favorites. And here, I just want to share what I've been using in the past weeks or the first months of the year, uh, 2022, if you're watching from the future. And just to, you know, share the love and share a couple of things that I'm using. And if you're using it too, or if you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to put in a chat box below and I'll be happy to share. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. I am just wanted to put in here to give you an idea what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to talk about what I've been using in my journal, which is a um, um, Traveler's Company Standard Size, my TM that I use as a memory keeper. I will just quickly uh, show my Hobonichi Weeks, my plotter. Here I have some fountain pens. Um, about the plotter, I got some new inserts. I'll show that. I have some stickers. I've been um, adventuring a little more into fountain pens. So here's some of the inks that I'm using. I need to set up a new pencil case for work. So this is what these two things are about. And some of the organizational tools, let's say. Okay, so what I've been using. So daily, uh, I always use my planner. So this is the Hobuni Tweaks as I use as my personal planner. So here there is a lot more of things happening with my family, uh, with my son and his school or my uh, husband if he has some like work trip or things like that and i also like to brainstorm and to track a couple of health related things that are important to me or self-care stuff that i want to make sure that i pay attention and then i try to do more things for myself so this is what this is about this again it's a cover from Budra planner and i have a video um, talking a lot more about the setup but what I've been using here that I want to show is how I've been decorating my pages. Um, because I do want to keep um, sort of the maximum, maximum, I don't know, but a lot more of the space to be able to write things as the week pass by. I've been um, putting decoration because I like it. I like to use washi tapes. I like to use stickers. But I do like to have the space to write things if needed. So lately, I've been loving those tiny washi tapes that are just put here they are very cute they have a nice design they are from eric small things and uh i don't think i have a lot of them but i just realized that in the past week i used this one and in this week i'm using another one so and i've i've i just feel like it's those tiny icons it's kind of cutie things well as the name say eric small things so i've been using some of my washi tapes this is a kita tape as well so just like a little decoration in the bottom just you know make it pretty somehow to me so this is how i've been um, enjoying to use my hobunichi weeks and it's here and yeah so this um planner is for now mainly uh, staying at home um or sometimes if i have some errands that i have information here i'll take it with me because i'm taking this to work so this is the plotter and the bible size which is um like a personal size and i've been uh using this for a couple months already so i can say with more um how can i say with a more attachment to it or with more experience that i've been using i think since middle january january when i got it um so what I have in the plotter is uh, simple. I have a monthly view with a lot of my work things. And uh, I have the week weekly dated inserts from Filofax where I basically come here and I write the tasks for work. I don't keep a lot of months in here because as I talked before in, a, in another video, I can link for you below. The rings here are small, so it is made to be like a compact, um, let's say, version of your plans. But don't be fooled by the tiny rings. You can fit a lot of paper in here if you use plotter paper. And I will also say Filofax paper is pretty thin and smooth, but like good paper, not thin, crappy paper. Um, the, the plotter paper is also very thin. Uh, there is a name for it, now I forgot. Uh, it's not like a Hobonichi paper, like the TRP, but similar to it. But I know that there is a specific name. Sorry for that. If I remember, I'll put it in the description below. If not, for the next video. So the paper is very thin, so you can fit a lot. Here I have six months worth of monthly views. I just added those um, project manager. This is something that I tested in the 
a mini in the side i'm pointing because my mini is here I, i'll show it later so i decided to get it for the bible size as well uh, like this i can keep some information about um, personal and family which this is a kind of the little change this is my workbook but because this travels with me to work every day sometimes i feel the need to jot some stuff down that i just remember during my day about oh i wanted to do this i don't know that for dinner or do i have time to buy this on my way back home you know so i wanted a place to have those things so this is what this is for and i've been using a lot the to-do list so this is the insert of the to-do list. Something that someone said, I don't remember who, is that what is also nice about Plotter, because they, I think they all come from the same group that also owns uh, the Traveler's Company, the Midori brand, they number their inserts. So the to-do list is number six, the project manager is eight, and the weekly schedule is also something new that I didn't have is the number two. So... The to-do list is being really handy for me just to make like list of things and mark it down. And although I said it before, you have 0, 50, and 100%, let's say if you are like tracking a progress of a certain thing, you could use it. I, I'm not really using it here. It's just like things that I mostly are like, um, because this, this isn't my work planner that I take with me to work, I have stuff that I have to buy, like, you know, things you need to buy for your family. And I just mark here. And then I decided to get the weekly insert. So let me show you a blank page. Uh, this is what I tried to explain in my past video. And I will show here the difference or the similarity of this insert with the Hobo Two Weeks. That has also a kind of a horizontal layout. So that's the Hobo Two Weeks. You guys know you have the days here horizontally and the to-do. Uh, and I use it as, as a to-do list page, but a blank page here. The plotter has also horizontal um, divisions for your days, but you have a line here that get carried to the other side. Can you see here? So it goes here whoop, to the other side. So it's like, this is one day, this is another one. I know, obviously you can also ignore uh, the divisions and do it as a list if you want to, but you have the marks to do so. So I think it's it's interesting in um, a different type of insert. Here you also have some of the um, hours mark if you want to like do a circle and write something about it. You know, if you want to track time, you can also. And here on the other side, you have those icons for weather, which I think is also interesting if you want to do it. So I got this because I was thinking of inserting a to-do page here in the middle. I can do this now so that it's easy to visualize. And okay, let's get this to-do page from here. And let's just insert the to-do page in the middle. This is a, a, a method or a layout uh, or a setup, I don't know the name, <laughs> a way to use it that I saw it from Chelsea, uh, Those With Words, and she mentioned that, in fact, she got this idea from Catnap Pen uh, Instagram. I don't know if she has a YouTube video, but I'm going to look her Instagram below. So basically, she was saying, uh, so if you are like me, that you like to have your work separated from your personal things like this, let's say when you're not working, you don't want to be looking at your work tasks, right? Or when you're working, you don't want to be bothered by personal things. So you could put this to-do list in the middle and then you can have in one side, let's say your work to-dos, uh, your work tasks for the week, like appointments, meetings, deadlines, things, and then a to-do list for that particular thing and then on the other side you could do let's say personal things that should happen in each day in a to-do list and i think this is a great great idea so this is why i got the weekly but when i started using it i thought oh my god like i really love the weekly from filofax and i got used to it because i've been using it since january and i'm like i kind of like the way it is i like the color i don't know my brain's already attached to it like this is work stuff so although I really wanted to use the layout that she shared, I decided to keep the weeklies in here and I'm basically tracking personal stuff during the day because it is hard when you want to put things apart, but it's also hard if you want to have it all in, in the same spot. So it's kind of nice. You can have all the inserts if you have like bigger rings, but I don't want to carry bigger rings. I want to carry this as far as lean and light. But sometimes I do have things that I need to track. So what am I tracking now related to personal stuff? 
uh, I'm tracking basically how my, um, you know, annoying digestive or allergic food al allergy intolerance things are going because things are coming back to life to annoy me. So I need to um, track this again, how things are going and then to tell my doctors or if it got better, if it got worse, if it, and, you know, if there is any correlation with my mood or if it has any correlation with stress, if I have more symptoms of indigestion when I have a lot of things to do at work, if I am standing up a lot, or if I'm sitting, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff to track. So I'm just writing this in here, and I'm just like writing also any, you know, thoughts and ideas that come during the day, like sometimes you're working and you just realize, oh, I'm out of tomatoes, or I need to buy eggs, and those things, and instead of putting, um, I don't know, writing a memo on your phone, I don't use my phone a lot for this, you know, I use my phone for uh, calling people, messaging people, but the planning part on my phone is mainly work stuff related because our all of our meetings and deadlines, they got set on Outlook. So then I just linked the Outlook with my iCall, like this, I, I get notifications on my phone and that's all. I don't do anything else than this because this is the way I work. I work with paper. Anyway, so I added the weekly here and then I just put stuff here for notes of things that come during the day and you might think there are not a lot of things but the, yeah there are things that we want to write during the day and this is what i have in here like to schedule an appointment with my doctor to buy some stuff and this is how i'm um, feeling and things and obviously i have a decoration here so this brings me to my other um sort of favorites for the for the past weeks which are some stickers, <laughs> washi tapes, and more specifically, stamps type of stickers. So this uh, little one that you saw here is from this roll. This is from Bankuchem. Oh, Bankuchem. I don't know how to say it. Uh, so there, you can, when you use them, you can detach them, which I think is pretty cool. You just, like, come here and, and you detach and you use it. And it's nice because those, they have, like, some nice quotes i don't know if you'll be able to see this one says embrace the stillness which i think is great i'm not the type of person that enjoys all the you know hustle working hard no no, no. yeah I, I feel like you should work hard in a sense that you should do your best you know it's work you're getting paid for it so do it right but i'm not the person who thinks that you have to you know live live like your life feeling stressed and not having time for anything i don't like this i like things to be slow i like things to be easy i like my life to be good you know i like to pause i like to rest i like to enjoy doing nothing just sit on a couch and hug my family and watch a movie go for a walk with like no time schedule just like let's just go for a walk you know just enjoy nature and listen to the birds and all that this is my vibe i wasn't always like that i learn sometimes my body had to tell me to a hey, slow down stop but this is where I am right now, and I feel like it's part of my aging process. I mean, guys, I'm not young. This year, I'm turning 40. I don't know. I think this is getting into my mindset, and I think it's great. I just want to enjoy my life and to enjoy my family, and that's all. Anyways, all that to say uh, that I love stamps, <laughs> so washi tapes and stickers. So those are two like amazing uh, sticker books that I got, and I order them through a uh, Judy on uh, Tokubetsu Mori shop. I will link her below. I also bought a lot of washi tapes and washi tape Samsung from her. Her shop is amazing. She's amazing. And she will hunt down uh, everything that you want that she could, you know, put her hands on if you are in this part of the, um, of the ocean, she could get it from you. Um, so basically, this is a, a sticker book that is a calendar. Um, and it's made of stamps. So each month has a theme and each month was designed by a particular artist. So that's why I think it's so cute. So I'm not going to show all the book because it's a lot of pages. I don't want you guys to be here forever, but <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. So this is like, for example, this is January. This was made by Taya. Very pretty. And then you see there are like many different ones. This is the one for May, and I love it because May is my birthday month. <coughs> Excuse me. So very beautiful. All of it. And they're all stamps. And each day, I don't know if I said that, but each day it gets its own. So you see, so nice. 
And there's this one that's had daily stickers, also daily stickers, and I think this is more related to travel. And here are the names of the artist, if you want to say. So here, for example, there's a Morocco in March, which I really love this artist. So let's see. So this is some of them. And you get a ton. So this is Morocco. I have like a lot of washi tapes from Morocco that I love. I can show them. Yeah, they're here. I can show it as well. So you see? So I'm loving this. I love stamps. I love washi stamps, sticker stamps, anything stamps I like. Um, I'm kind of back to, I, I mean, I'm always sending happy mail to my friends, but I'm like also into sending letters and I don't have like a set number of pen pal friends, but I, I, I mean, now luckily there are some that accept it to be my pen pals. So I've been enjoying this as well. I said I would show the washi tape from my Roku just to give an example. You see, there's also like stamps. But it's a washi roll, so you just cut and use them. So I really love that. And I think I bought this one from Cute Things from Japan. A Judy, she had it, but she said she wouldn't be able to get it for a nice price. And then she advised me to get it from another shop. I don't know if this is Maruko. I think it is. I'm sorry if it's not, but it kind of looks similar because of the cat art. Can you see it? But I also love that too. Okay, so yeah favorites planner new in search for plotter stamp stuff everything and then i want to talk about the fountain pen and the inks uh so i asked all of you and i also asked on um instagram if you guys could give me recommendations of the inks and then i was very lucky that uh fernanda for for plants um she gave me some inks and she's really nice and I don't know if I should be here before, probably. But yeah, so she gave me some um, samples, some examples. So this is Diamine Prussian Blue, which I really loved. And I kind of didn't get any blue after trying this one because I like it. It's a kind of a grayish blue. And this is Lummi Crystal Peridot. It's like kind of a, of a green. I think I will probably ink another pen with that as well. Uh, I don't know if you realized, like, this is the way that she... Um, label the inks and now i just got some new uh, inks from a shop in montreal i'll show the name of the shop and basically they're all brown because i didn't have browns you know first she gave me uh, green and blue and i already have the black which is the carbon ink this is the one that i use the most and i decided to get browns i'm not that adventurer with colors you guys know my my color palette it's basically a lot of blues some browns i do like greens as well i feel like it fits um, they go together. So I got a different different uh, sort of blues. I did here. This is the Plotter Mini. I can show you uh, the pen test that I did. So those are my um, current currently ink, inked pens. So I have the, the carbon ink in my Vanishing Point and also in my Platinum Prep. I'm going to show the pens. So here's the di the Diamond, the Prussian Blue. Uh, because I use the I uh, EF, like Extra Fine Nib, you cannot see that much the blue, so then I decided to buy uh, Lemmy Safari in F, in, like in fine. So you see, you can see a lot more. And this is another Lemmy, but in EF, and it has a green cartridge. So those are the, in, the pens that I have in here, and here they are. So I have the Kakuno, which to me is still like very good, very affordable pen. And I just put the clip from the Caveco because I feel like it looks so fancy. Um... I don't really love the Cavecos. I do have them. Um, I have here and I have it in extra fine and it looks gorgeous, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. It's not for me. So it's just sitting there. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but uh, maybe later I'll try it again and I'll like it. But yeah, uh, Caveco is not my favorite. And then I have the Vanishing Point, which is the clicker. Chick, chick. This one is a, it's a lot more expensive, but I really like it and it's really like my favorite pen the the nib itself is it's smooth although it's very thin so it's not scratchy because you, when you get like a thinner nib it can be scratchy on a paper so this is the lamy that i got in this color that i don't know it's kind of, of a brown and i got it in a fine i don't know if there's a difference of the nibs there are this this color this black nibs with the other ones there are with uh, silver, platinum, I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling, or if just because it's, this is fine and this is extra fine, I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me. I have a feeling that this one is way smoother 
is it only because it's thin and this is extra extra fine and this is fine hmm, who knows but i actually really love it so i got this last week and then i pre-ordered this one that just arrived so this is the cream and it has nothing yet here this is the converter uh and i think i'm gonna put either the green or another brown because this brown isn't defined although well, i can see better but it's also like thicker so i feel like i want a brown in a thinner nib we'll see uh so i got this too from a shop in montreal i said i would say the name so this is the shop it's called Nueva era they are in the um, in the village but they will they will move soon so i would tell you to follow their instagram like this you will get the right address if you're watching from the future so that you go to the right spot uh it's a very nice stationery shop they have a nice collection of pens and inks and fun stickers so i just i also got the stickers from them it says <laughs> gotta get through this i really love it and it has a cat too they also are cat lovers i also got this card that says Menon. <laughs> it's like oh no it's like oh stop i mean to me sometimes when you talk so this is french uh you say Menon. it's like uh you know stop it <laughs> or in portuguese you'd say like uh fala said <laughs> it's me like come on uh so i really love it and obviously it's blue so i'm like how nice <laughs> because there are a lot of expressions in french that i like and Menon is like so cool to say you know you're just chatting and you say oh, Menon yeah so i love that and i will probably punch and use this as either a card to go like in here in the pocket or in the bible size so in the bible size now i have this card that i got from judy in fact from tokubetsu memory shop um these two so i don't know maybe you guys can tell me what you think should i put my menu on my mini or on my bible so We'll see. Yeah, but I um, really love this shop. I feel like the prices are really good. They have different artists and local artists, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I got this from them. And the last thing I want to talk about is the pen cases. So I have a lot of pen cases, as you can see here. This, uh, both of them, they are from Superior Labor, but this one is from, um, what is the name? The shop in Toronto. <laughs> wonder pens <laughs> yeah it's a collaboration of wonder pens and superior labor i don't think you can buy it elsewhere i think you can only buy this from um wonder pens uh yeah i love it and my fountain pens are sitting here which i think is good because i can see them uh i think this guy's gonna go out so this is a preppy preppy pen but the nib it says 0.3. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it's a kind of in a thicker, thicker range for me. Although it's very nice and very comfortable. Mm, I don't know yet about thicker nibs. Uh, not not for me yet. So I'll probably put this guy here with the new ink that I have to decide if it will be another brown or if it will be a green. We'll see. Yeah, and this is converter. Anyways, this is from Superior Labor Wonder Pens. This is also from Superior Labor, and I got it from Bankuchen. Bankuchen. Uh, I was putting my glasses in here, so that's why I have this little thing uh, that I got in a conference. Besides science. Um, yeah, so I was in, I'm using this one as a place to put the glasses. They kind of fit well. I wonder if they were made for it, because look at the way the shape it is. Anyways, but last year... I got this other one, which is the same model, but in a vibrant blue. And I'm thinking of using... See, I haven't even used it. It's really new. Uh, I was thinking of using that as my pencil case for work. Because I kind of need a marker. So let's see what fits here. So at work, I basically use um, a yellow marker. Uh, the plotter has this pen loop thing here. So I kind of already have the pen when I carry the workbook with me so I'm, but i might still put like another pen maybe like a multi-pen like this i have uh, multiple colors like the red the blue sometimes i kind of enjoy uh having a different i will either put this one or the blue one from hobonichi which i cannot see it right now so i think i'll put like this i just want to see if things will fit so i need like um a ruler maybe i'll put this one that is from most far with love 
it's cute will it, will it fit yeah it fits or if it this one is too big i can put this one for moody but they're kind of same so that this one is a little smaller yeah i think you it, it will go with the one with the moody uh i kind of need a mechanical pencil so i think i'm gonna put this one here and a razor i bought this eraser long time ago i just put it there so that i remember to use it or i could use another eraser that i don't know if it's here let me see if it's here on my drawer um not really it's a eraser that is in the shape of the monty fuji but i don't know what it is it will be there for um a different video yeah so i might use this one and um what else and i'm gonna put this uni pen because sometimes i uh, label things in the lab with a washi tape that I, I have it there with a sticker and this writes on top of it so this is what i wanted to remember to bring home and i bought this uh pens well i didn't buy it was my friend who went to toronto and bought for me on muji store there was one more um this is a um, kind of a felt tip but from muji and this is really nice to write on like thicker paper i have like a yeah paper in the lab protocols and stuff that i want to label stuff with my name um i don't need the three of them i'll put the black for sure i think i'm gonna get this blue and i'll leave this other blue at home i want to get the silver for this one silver or gray yeah so this is i think all that i need for work i have correction tape uh all that so i don't need so yeah so things fit very well and i kind of love the color yeah so this is what i'll be using another thing that i'm reflecting on because i'm absolutely loving my plotter is whether i want to get a blue one of the bible size so this is the blue one but in the pueblo leather this is the shrink leather which is kind of a pebbly one and this is more like smooth um yeah i'm thinking now in the camera it's not looking that um blue because it's a bit it's a bit dark today but i feel like they go together better in this color than with that i can always change and make this my glasses <laughs> pouch and, and you know and put the pens in here i'll see i kind of like when i have matchy matchy things i don't know if you guys are this way but i am uh yeah so those are my favorites for the month or for the past month i would say and uh i'm really enjoying all my items and i feel like they are pretty nice um i've been using them all over my journals my planners sometimes depending if i wanted to have a bit more decoration or less uh, i'm loving to have the plotters as like a slim option to carry um notebooks or planners uh with me in my bag and not like having it to um you know to add a lot of weight to the bag and it's been great yeah so those are the things that i'm been joining to use uh let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions about my favorites and i'll try to do uh things like that from time to time just to chat about stationery i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time Bye bye